Hey there, and welcome back to Cosmic Crypto. In this video, we're going to be talking about Dogecoin. D-O-G-E. Let's go. Okay, welcome back to the channel. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, I think the like button's right next to it. If you could tap that too, I'd really appreciate it. All right, let's get into this. Dogecoin had a big move. It was even trending on Twitter. Let's see what's going on. So, I haven't looked at the Dogecoin chart in quite a while now. Um, it's one of those coins that likes to trade sideways, as you can see. I'm on the weekly time frame right now, and things are looking okay. But, I mean, I kind of think, I mean, I said in a tweet earlier that I think we hit resistance and we're due for a pullback and we are getting a pullback along with the rest of the market right now but i uh on the weekly time frame i just noticed a few things we have been holding support here uh, for quite some time and it was previous resistance right over here but there's really nothing uh until you get to 0 0.17 cents area so if we ever to if we were to break through this support line here i expect us to fall uh, quite a bit actually so if this does break from the line to this line that's another 70 percent move uh i don't think that's going to happen but uh that's what i'd be looking out to the downside we had a nice pump to the upside but in my tweet as well i said we're running into the 200 uh, ema here which uh, we hit it and we got rejected and not only are we hitting the 200 ema but we're also hitting the 20 ema uh, on the weekly uh, so we've hit it once here, got rejected, came back down. We've hit it again now, and we're getting rejected. And uh, yeah, I don't know. We still got two days, 16 hours, so almost three days left. Uh, we do have a chance to get above that. And if we were to close above this 200 EMA and the 20 and stay above it, uh, we also are looking at some resistance, I believe. So we've got, you know, you know, we broke out of the Actually, we broke out of this resistance here. Unless you want to do the wicks only then yeah we're right on so if you do the wicks let me get rid of this line thing here my high low line if you do just the wicks let me take it all the way to the top and see how that works uh, yeah no i don't think it's as clean when you take it to the top so if you just do the wicks from this wick to these two and we now have another wick that hit this resistance line so if we were to break above this 200 ema uh, I'd like for the price to go up, hit the 100 EMA. Let me just double check that. I've been changing this around lately. Just want to make sure that this is the 100 EMA. Uh, 50 EMA. So hit the 50 EMA and then have it come back down and not only retest this previous resistance here, uh, but also retest the uh, 200 right there as well and then we can continue on to the upside i'm not exactly sure what's going to happen with that the market did take a turn to the upside and we're due for retracement all across the market uh, dogecoin isn't falling that bad we're just down two and a half percent right now i could see it going down a little bit more but um yeah that's where we're at so dogecoin though is used to these long consolidations very long consolidations now, we are in kind of new territory with Dogecoin because Dogecoin usually stayed in this range all the time. I mean, this is all the way back in 2017. So Dogecoin never broke above, you know, two cents since 2017. And then finally, Elon Musk came out and started talking about it. And we had these big pumps. And then we had a flag and then we had another pump and we're coming back down. Another thing that I did notice, if you take your Fibonacci from the very bottom to the very top, we are holding the 382. Uh line as well so if i got rid of this support line there we are basically holding the 382 here which yeah i mean if as long as it stays here that's pretty bullish um you want to hold that kind of dance around here a little bit and i mean dogecoin's market cap is pretty large so that i mean there'd be, have to be a lot of money flowing into dogecoin uh, to get this thing to move up uh you know past its previous all-time high to get above a dollar i mean that's i mean that's a lot of money moving in there now a lot of money could move into the market i mean there's a lot of talk about you know crypto taking over which i do believe it is that's why i am into crypto uh and so maybe you know lots of this money goes into dogecoin who knows but uh first things first we got to break above this resistance line here and we got to break above the 200 ema on the uh, weekly let's go down to the daily see if we can get anything on the closer 
time frames here. So, I mean, as you can see, we were way oversold up here. And, um, or I'm sorry, overbought. And uh, so now we are, you know, going to come down. And uh, I do expect quite a retracement here on the daily. I mean, let's go from bottom to top. I mean, I expect us to come back down to retest uh, the six cent level, six and a half cent level, uh, around the 618 at least minimum, because that's a lot of resistance here, broke above, and then come back down to find support. Uh, and then maybe we bounce up, get a little double bottom going here, go sideways for a little bit. Um, you know, this could act as, you know, some kind of a wedge here, uh, having this support line here and then the resistance line here. And then we can go in here sideways, finally break out towards the end. Uh, we do have lots of room to run on the momentum here. So, I mean, you know, uh, but I do actually see this probably coming down right here along with the RSI. And then, I mean, if we're lucky, we get another move to the upside, something kind of like that. Uh, but we will see. Um, so, yeah, a little bit of retracement right now. Coming back down to six and a half cents, I do believe. And let's go down to the four hour just to take a peek here. Uh, we're finding somewhat support here on the 382. I don't know that that's going to hold. Although, I mean, <laughs> the RSI is curling back up. We could see another move to the upside. Um, you know, create some kind of a double top. Maybe even come all the way back up to here, but create a lower high. And then come back down and come down over here, which would create that M pattern. Which, if that did play out, that M pattern, um, the target would probably be roughly around the 618, yeah. I mean, so if that M pattern played out, it would bring us down to, well, the 200 EMA or the 618, roughly in that area, if that played out as an M pattern. Which, actually, I kind of see that as a possibility. We are getting a move to the upside uh, a little bit right now, uh, but that could change at any moment. We The trend, uh, you know has a little bit of room to fall the rsi is kind of moving up but let's go down to the lower lower time frames to see what the most uh recent move is going to be here oops uh going to the one hour and kind of looks like we're going to curl around here on the trend we're going to break it looks like we might break above uh, on the RSI, the moving average, which we did back here, which created that quick high right here. Uh, we are holding the uh, 50 EMA on the one hour. And so, yeah, like I said, we could possibly get a double top here and then fall back down. I mean, the more bullish thing would be if we were to come above and break above this resistance line uh, and then find the resistance as support. But uh, honestly, I kind of see a double top happening and then we fall back down to retest uh, lower support areas like I talked about previously. It's kind of a quick update on Dogecoin. Uh, be careful in this market right now. I'm kind of wondering if this move has been a fake out. So I'm paying really close attention to where uh, this retracement is going to land uh, because this goes for the entire crypto market. If the retracement just keeps dropping, then obviously we had a fake out uh, to the upside and then we're going to continue moving to the downside. But if we do hold some key supports on Bitcoin, uh, and some other of you know, the top coins like Ethereum, uh, and we do actually get that reversal, uh, then that would be pretty good for the market. Uh, also, the DXY, which is kind of you know running opposite of the crypto market, uh, I did expect the DXY to come up for a retracement. It's almost, if not to the retracement top, I believe. So I do think that by next week, we're going to find out uh, what if this was a legit move or not. But anyway, that's just kind of a quick update on Dogecoin. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. And just remember, I'm not a financial advisor, just a dude on his computer. Talk to you later.